Good morning. My name is Jose Garces, and I am a Kendall College graduate. <laughs> the first thing I wanted to say to you today, and an important thing I think for all of you to hear, is congratulations. Today is a day to celebrate and to feel proud of what you've accomplished and how far you've come. To reflect and to look ahead and to honor at the time and energy you've expended to reach this day. So to, to the Kendall class of 2012, I say congratulations. Go ahead, you can come. And don't worry, that's not all I have to say. Because although today is a special day and a day you've worked hard to see, what really gives its value are all of the days that came before it, and in many ways, the days that are still to come. So I'd like to talk to you a little bit about those days and what they were like for me as a student and as an alum. And in doing so, maybe I can share with you some of what I've learned both at Kendall and beyond about being a working chef and putting the, the degree you've just worked so hard to earn to work for you as you build a career in this crazy field. As important as today is as a milestone, it's also an endpoint to something you set in motion years ago when you decided to pursue a higher education in the culinary arts. For me, that day came after two aimless years of undergrad at another school, listlessly attending classes and finding myself feeling increasingly detached from what I was studying. That summer, I was working as a lifeguard at Foster Avenue Beach on the North Shore feeling really directionless. I spent a lot of hours in my chair soul searching and trying to determine what would engage me, what would make me feel passionate instead of apathetic. I knew from growing up in my mother's kitchen that I love food, but it honestly never occurred to me to try to make cooking a career until one afternoon when I took a walk from the beach over my lunch break to check out Kendall. There was a discipline to the campus the stark white coats, the tall hats that appealed to me. It wasn't necessarily my style. I had some wild times in my teenage years, cruising in my Toyota pickup truck on Lakeshore Drive with debaucherous crew of friends. But I liked it, and I felt like I could learn from it. I was attracted to the idea of growing into a new role, gleaning what I could, from some, gleaning what I could do from something so foreign to me and by the fall, I was enrolled. That idea of taking what I could from something that was very different from my other experiences to the point became sort of the driving force for me throughout my time here at Kendall. In fact, it continues to pro propel my career forward today. I imagine that for many of you, this sounds familiar. Not every block includes the kind of food you hope to cook or the kind of service you hope to provide but you can take what you can from it and apply those lessons to the areas where you feel most passionate. For me, the cafeteria block was particularly dull, but learning to mass produce food on that scale is invaluable to a chef, particularly those who hope to run a catering program or one day manage large scale events. Classical French food might not seem to have much to do with my forte which is ingredient-driven food that often includes Latin influences. But that precision and those artful techniques help to direct me when conceptualizing dishes, whether they're contemporary interpretations or traditional plates or innovative dishes of my own devising. To this day, I think of what the Kendall instructors taught me. And believe it or not, we're still in touch. Not because I necessarily need to consult with them on procedures, but more because their talent inspires me. And that's a critical lesson that I hope all of you will take away from your education. You should always aim to surround yourself with the talent and then learn from it. Whether you find a mentor who will lead you for years or you take a one month stage in the kitchen of a chef you admire, there's always something new to learn, and the best way to learn is to be close to the person or people who do it best. When I left Kendall, I was fortunate to work alongside a long line of professionals who continued my education in the real world. 
And I hope that all of you realize the value of working under people like that and you will apply it to your careers. So we've talked about two important days. Today, your graduation day, and the day a few years ago when you committed to your education by enrolling here. There's another one I want to talk to you about. And although this one is different for all of us, I think it's one that we've all had at one point or another, the day you realize, hey, I can actually do this. Culinary school is very different from many traditional four-year college programs. But one thing we share with the business majors and the pre-med students and the aspiring actors and the mathematicians is that aha moment. When our education becomes something more than the act of going to class each day. It's the day we first put the lessons we're being taught over and over into practice and realize that we're actually growing and changing and get her, getting better from being here. For me, it was the day, for me, it was the day when I knew once and for all that I was not gonna be someone who wanted to be a chef, I was actually gonna be one. With the white coat and hat and everything, maybe not the tall hat, but the white coat. For me, that day came during one of my favorite experiences through Kendall, my study abroad in Spain. I hope that all of you have an opportunity to work abroad, and I can only hope that your experiences were as rich as mine. Not literally rich because I was staging and being paid under the table what amounted to barely enough to cover my room and board, but the rich volume and breadth and depth of what I saw and learned. Um, and going to Spain was a natural choice for me because I already spoke Spanish at home and I knew I could use my language skills to fit more easily into the culture. It was my first time out of the country, one of my first times out of Chicago, and it was terrifying and exciting and very much a sink or swim experience. Either I would learn how to survive in a foreign place with next to no money, working long hours among strangers, or I wouldn't. And I did. I spent hours a day in a restaurant owned by a Spanish priest who took me in because of his friendship with a chef here in Chicago, Gabino Sotolino, who met me through Greg Stolis at, who I met through uh, Greg Stolis at Kendall. And every day the kitchen staff and I made paella for a staff meal, dozens of different kinds. We made gazpacho the old fashioned way. I learned cooking from Spanish people and those recipes inform what I can do today. And even more important than that, I learned how to travel, how to use food as a window into culture, learning to cook alongside these guys, and then going out for the best, cheapest food we could, we could find and tracking down that little hole in the wall place that served the most authentic bang for your buck meals. One day while eating paella that I had made and seeing the staff munching away happily without knowing that that kid from Chicago had made their meal, I realized that traveling, interpreting what I learned and sharing it with people in the best way I know how was what I would do the rest of my life. And it filled me with excitement and pride. Today, every time my team and I prepare to open a new restaurant concept, we travel to the place that inspired it and eating our way around the country, sampling the food and chatting with the people who make it. My publicist teases me every time I go on vacation. She starts researching the place because she knows I'm going to come back with a new concept. I'm going to Provence for my 40th birthday this summer with my family, and she's already starting to do her homework on that one. I would never enjoy traveling as much as I do or being able to bring fresh ideas to my restaurants without the lessons I learned studying abroad. And I would never have taken such a trip without the support I received from the staff at Kendall. So now we have three important days, and there are more, including the day not so long from now when you realize how few of your fellow students are still pursuing their dreams of being a chef. I remember about five years after graduation when the hard truth became evident. Most of my friends changed paths and were working in other fields. It came as a shock to me at the time. But today I realize that for them, there was another important day and it was the day they decided to move on to another field or another calling or another career. 
I never had that day, and some of you never will either. And either way, it's okay. As long as you still take the lessons you learned here and bring them with you. And those lessons don't have to be technical, like creating the perfect paella. Rather, I imagine that for many of you, they're the kinds of broader things that I learned here almost two decades ago about learning from professionals you admire and traveling with an open mind and a hearty appetite. Then there's one more day. Then there's the day you open your first restaurant. Mine was October 15th of 2005, and that restaurant was Amada in Philadelphia, an Andalusian tapas bar and restaurant that was guided by my senior project here at Kendall. Ten years after I graduated, that business plan still held up, and I consulted it often while my wife and I put our home, our savings, and everything important to us on the line in order to open a restaurant. Today it's easy to look back and say it was the right choice to gamble everything. But back then, honestly, I could say I was terrified. But having the business plan I created in my sixth block here to guide me was comforting, and being able to reach out to my professors and mentors throughout the process was invaluable. And perhaps that's the most important lesson of all, the deep, lasting value of your education and the importance of continuing to do the very thing that got you here, taking responsibility for your growth and your progress. Building on that day, you decided to come to Kendall and the day you knew you could actually do anything you set your mind to. And this day of celebration and the many days of uncertainty and trouble and triumph that are still to come. I hope that you will experience the same happiness and satisfactions in your careers that I have. Whatever they may be and wherever they may take you, and I say to you today again, congratulations, class of 2012. Thank you.